Hey everybody, Larry Finelli here and welcome to Food Stories. It's August, um, August, November 24th, Sunday, November 24th, and we are live. I'm in Trinidad, and let me introduce you guys to the rest of the peanut gallery. We have George Cohen in Mountain View, California. Good. Hey George, how are you? Really good. How are you? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want you. Next to George, we have... George Sepich, who's in Texas. Greetings. Hey, George. Greetings. I, I, I didn't realize I was next to George this time, so I'm confused. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, 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 uh, I'm here and uh, waiting for a great ship. I, I love your um, Christmas decorations in the background there. You're getting in the spirit. <laughs> I am, I am. The spirit of uh, Christmas uh, past, though, is worrying me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next, next to George, we have Marilyn, who is also in Mountain View, California. Hey, Marilyn. Hi, everybody. Looking forward to these pumpkin pancakes. <laughs> yes, definitely. Next to Marilyn, we have Richard from South Africa. Hey, Hi, Rich. Lady. How you doing? I'm good. Great. And uh, you going to have a little something special for us in the yes. drink, in the beverage portion of the show? Yes, I will. Nice, nice, nice. So um, let me give you guys a little, before we go into Shadia's Kitchen and before we introduce her, um, let me give you guys a little, uh, for those of you who don't know that is, where Curacao is because she is from Curacao. So essentially where Curacao is, it's in the Caribbean. It's not too far from where I am. So let me bring that up. I don't know if you guys could see this. Well, I can see it. Right. Okay. So I'm here in Trinidad, just north of Port of Spain. And Curacao is about an hour's flight from where I am. And it's over here by the ABC Islands. Cool. All right. So now, it's Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire. Um, now, before we. Larry, if you were uh -huh. to blow up an inner tube and float on an inner tube and like uh, this, uh, try to swim there on an inner tube, how long would that take? You? Uh, that would, the sharks would probably get me before I, <laughs> I reach too far out. So, uh -huh. all right, so Aruba, Curacao, and then Bonnet. That's the ABC Islands. And as you can see, it's right north of uh, Venezuela because here's Caracas, here's Maracaibo. Those islands are dead set in the Caribbean and if you to get a more perspective view as to the rest of the world it basically disappears and we see North America uh, Cuba is here Haiti Hispanola is over there and so so you guys can see where where we are in, in perspective so let's get back down into Curacao and we are going to dive right into Shadia's Kitchen. I just watched Sandra Bullock in Gravity. <laughs> this reminds me of that. <laughs> <laughs> we got to she, she lives in the capital, which is Willemstad. And Curacao is a beautiful, beautiful island. Uh, let me get back to here. And let's bring up Shadia. Hello. How you doing? Good. <laughs> good to see you. Nice. Good introduction. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, just keep it, you know, we try to keep it interesting. So tell us what we'll be getting today. I know it's a pumpkin pancakes. Yeah, I'll be making pumpkin pancakes, which is, um, it's usually served as a snack, sometimes for breakfast, sometimes around the evening time. And it's very sweet. Or not too sweet, but it's, it has the sugar in it already. So it's not like an American pancake that you have to put the syrup on. Okay. And it also has raisins in it. So it's just kind of something you can eat by itself. Great. And since this show is called Food Stories, I am sure there's a story associated with that particular dish that you would yeah. like to share with us. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> it all started when I was just... 18, and I moved to Trinidad to be a missionary. Oh, and you, were, you, were, you were in Trinidad? Yeah, I was in Trinidad first. Oh, and wow. then a year after, I was in Jamaica. 
They were mm -hmm. asking, they constantly asked me to do something of Curacao, but I couldn't, I had no idea how to cook or anything. <laughs> So after really thinking it through, I thought of pumpkin pancakes because I already knew how to make pancakes. Uh -huh. And I got the recipe and made it in Jamaica. People loved it. And afterwards, we had an event with like a hundred guests, and they asked me to make it again. This, wow. this was this was in Jamaica, right? Sure, oh. it wow. was in Jamaica. Wow, a hundred. Flipping pancakes all morning. I think I got to the kitchen at five o'clock, and then I was finished around seven. <laughs> wow! As as they say in the states, George, uh, they, she was slinging pancakes. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> all right. Mm. So so you're gonna treat us to some um, pumpkin pancakes, and as you know, and well, everybody here. Uh, next week is uh, Thanksgiving, or this week actually is Thanksgiving in the U.S. and we were talking about this before we went live that this would be a good addition to folks' uh, Thanksgiving dinner. We, you could add pumpkin pancakes in lieu of the pumpkin pie, even though the pumpkin pies are norm, normally traditional. And I think Marilyn says she's going to be doing some pumpkin, a pumpkin pie, right? <laughs> now, Marilyn, would you be inclined to try? the uh, pancakes once you see how it's made and all that absolutely I love pancakes <laughs> I love pancakes and you know and, and you know if you have guests in the house I mean that would be a really great thing to do also or if you you know you gotta hold people off until the big dinner you can make it after the Thanksgiving dinner and then people can have that before they go uh, Black Friday shopping. Ah, yeah, there you go. That's 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 a good that's idea. That's very good. Yeah. Hey, hey, Larry, I'm I'm ready for my Thanksgiving dinner. I'm going to be making a pumpkin uh, pancakes, and uh, I'm ready for the turkey as well. <laughs> <laughs> George, George takes things literally. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. <laughs> okay, so George, pay close attention. Shadia will yeah, so you teach won't miss you. anything. Exactly. So Shadia, you ready to start, my dear? Yes, I am. All right, great. Let me um. Is this stove? Let me pop up uh, stovetop cam. Mm -hmm. Well, right. I'm gonna start with um. It, it's very easy, really. What the big thing is to mm -hmm. boil the pan, the pumpkin, and mm -hmm. then mash it up. So it's not um, blended or anything. If you want to, you can. But I just mashed it up. This is like two two cups of pump, uh, pumpkin. Okay, well let me ask you: when you when you boil the pumpkin, do you add anything to the water, like um, salt or nothing? Just straight no, nothing. straight pumpkin. Yeah, it's just pumpkin. Okay. So that goes in there. Right. And then so we. Add, mm -hmm. Um, half a cup of milk. Okay. I and. Use for those of you who are viewing, the recipe is in the event. I have also turned on the question and answer app, so feel free to ask Shadia any questions or anybody in the panel. If you want to ask them any questions, feel free to, to do so. Do, oh, those so okay. to be, do those have to be specific to the meal, or can we just ask her anything? It would be nice to have questions that are relevant. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Just put in an egg. Okay, so we have we have the egg, we have the the um, milk, and we have yeah. the pumpkin that's been boiled. True. Okay. And then I'll, I'll add some vanilla ex extract. The the recipe says one teaspoon, but I'd like to. Mm -hmm really add a lot. I love I love the taste of uh, both the vanilla and the cinnamon in it. Oh nice, yeah. So, so Marilyn, let me ask you, since you're the um, pumpkin pie queen expert, <laughs> some of the ingredients that she's putting in the um, in her pancake mix, uh, is it pretty much in line with what you do with your um, 
Which well, you know, we you know we were we you know we use honey, of course, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And from our bees, and uh, you know, uh, uh, we you know we we do it's it's pretty we keep it pretty simple, you know, okay. uh, so that it it really just brings out the pumpkin in it. We bake our pumpkin in, in the um, in the oven though, as opposed okay. to yeah, right, yeah, yeah. good, good, good. That's, that's interesting. So it's baked, mm -hmm. the one you Is put in the. In the it's, it's it's baked and then run through a food mill. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I just added cinnamon and um, baking powder. I'm gonna add the flour to it. Okay. We have a, a well. It's not so much a question, but uh, Alice Phillips. Ali, Ali Phillips, she's a, she's a foodie. She um, apparently, this is her first time watching Hangouts, and uh, she says she's seeing everyone, hearing everyone, but she wants to know if she can be seen. No, Ali. <laughs> you're outside, you're outside the Hangout watching in. Yeah. yeah. If you want, I can I'm invite you. I'm that too, my first time. Yeah, I know. Well, you're always a little cautious if you're at home on a Sunday. You know, you you know you like just making sure. You know. Yeah. But but you. And I but think that, I was wondering too how to be in it. Yeah. But yeah. one of us may uh, ring her doorbell in the next five minutes. So this. <laughs> so, let's do a little recap here. Um, you started off with. Pumpkin that's been boiled, yeah, and uh, blended. You've added that to some milk. You've added to that milk, yeah, flour, mm -hmm. one egg, baking powder, baking powder, uh, cinnamon and vanilla. Cinnamon extract. and vanilla extract. Great, great. Yeah. Um, again, those of you who are watching the event. Um, listing, uh, not event listing, the recipe listing, sorry, is in the event. I was expecting to hear the word nutmeg somewhere in there. <laughs> no, oh. not at this one. Oh, uh, you, are you going to put some nutmeg in there? No. Okay. That's an interesting thing, though. That's that, No, George brought up a very good point. Because... Yeah. Um, here, here in the Caribbean, we use nutmeg a lot in a lot of our foods. So it would be interesting if you have nutmeg available. We could do this as an ongoing live experiment. Do you yeah. have any nutmeg? Do you have any nutmeg there? I do. I'm gonna throw. Oh, not not much though, because nutmeg, you know, could could overpower <laughs> a meal. Well, what so, I can do is start making some of it, and mm -hmm. then at the end, I'll add more. I'll add the nutmeg, and then we can taste the difference. Great, great. So I'm adding raisins to it. Um, Alexandra has a has a question. Uh, have you tried using whole wheat or almond flour for those who don't, you know? I was trying eat. to do that actually. Mm -hmm. I tried it with. Um, I couldn't find almond flour, so I did it with garbanzo bean flour. Okay. It doesn't taste too bad, but the garbanzo bean is very overpowering. Mm -hmm. So I would say. So I would say the garbanzo bean, not to use that one, but I think almonds would would taste nice. And 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 whole wheat flour, of course, you know. Yeah. You, you can use that. Yeah. I'm using regular flour right now, though. I really like the consistency of this. Um, okay. I just might add a bit more milk. Okay. And of course, sugar. I think that's the only thing I'm missing. Now, yeah. I, I want to go back to that story with the um, hundred people. Yeah. When when you were preparing it for that large amount of folks. Um, was it you alone, or did you have help? I mean, since this was your, you know, second or third time you were doing it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had some help. I I asked a friend of mine uh -huh. to okay. help me out. 
He was late though. I, I remember that. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I started uh, making everything on my own, and then he helped frying. Okay. Nice, nice. And we didn't do it in a skillet. We did it on the, you know, those electrical uh, baking, not frying thing that they make pancakes on. Yeah, yeah. Um, the waffle, not not the iron, not the waffle iron. Um, yeah, yeah. The, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So we made it on that, and it took us a while, but we finished. Yeah, I want the, I want the Americans. I wanted the Americans to help me out here, George and Marilyn and George. <laughs> <laughs> since since pancakes. I, 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 I actually made regular pancakes this morning, and I did it in my electric skillet. Okay. All right. Good. <laughs> I, I'm I, I'm done uh, pan you know pancakes for large amounts of people on a big you know like a restaurant a restaurant yeah. style grill in a in a uh, and it is it's fun actually you know you get to go in on the grill and stuff yeah. <laughs> it's really fun okay we added some a pinch of salt literally to it I'm using sea salt okay but so you you've I, just you just added some salt to the um, to the mix, right? Yeah. Okay. And it's pretty much done right now. I'm gonna. Okay, that was easy. Can. What's that, Richard? I said it looked easy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It is. Yeah. It's just mixing everything. The hard part is cutting the pumpkin. I bought a whole pumpkin, so it's like chopping it into pieces. Mm -hmm. And what I did was boil it first, and then take off the skin. And okay, okay, you, no. you so you boiled it with the skin on. You did. Yeah, because um, that's. Okay. I don't like taking off the skin when it's hard. It's well, hard. yeah, it be, because it is kind of tricky to take the skin off. Um, yeah. I heard a pig, I heard a pygmy say that once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is pumpkin jaws, not cannibalism. Oh, okay, okay, right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. What. That that that's a good tip though. Um, to boil it with the skin and then the skin comes off much easier. Actually, you could just scoop out the the meat itself, the the, the flesh. True, because that's yeah, what. Pumpkin. Yeah. Well, my first times when I didn't know how to cook, I it took me like an hour to cut the pumpkin and then take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Add Adam margarine. How do you say that in English? Mar margarine. Mar we, we say margarine. 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 Yeah. Mm. Okay. So I added that to the pan. Okay. And then I added the skillet. To the, to the skillet. Nice. Yeah. What, what's, that, what's that sign behind you there on the fridge? Shadia? Oh, that's my blog. The Curacao Vacation Blog. It's uh, where I write about Curacao, vacations, where to go. And... I've recently started doing videos as well. That's why I have my YouTube name. That's okay. cool. I, I like that because people tell me where to go all the time, and I, I, I like that sign. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I have I have a question for you, uh, Shadia, from um, Catherine Cato. She said she asks, could yeah. the pumpkin could the pumpkin be baked instead of boiled? I've never tried to bake pumpkin, so I don't know what consistency it will come off with. But I don't think I think it should work. If it's not too um, soft after baking, you can always blend it. Yeah, well, it it, it has to be um uh, yeah, it has to be crushed anyway. So I guess if you bake it, it it will be easier to um to blend. You know, it's it's, it's yeah. easy to get it out of the um, out of the skin as you skin. Exactly. Exactly. That's yeah. that's 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 another good point too, George. Yeah. I'm gonna use the back burner because the front burner doesn't do much. Mm. It's not hot enough, and we don't want to be here all. Okay. All day. Oh, so, <laughs> so you're going to the back. Well, well, while you're doing that, we can go to our beverage section of the show, segment of the show. Richard, what do you have for us today, buddy? Well, um. Well, yesterday was uh, the Cape Town Festival of Beer, where um, they had uh, well, probably about 50 breweries and over 200 types of beer that you could drink. 
Mm-hmm. And I, I probably tasted about a, a hundred different beers yesterday, so that was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually, I, okay. I took worked out very well. I took regular food breaks to eat between tasting the beers. I'll, I'll vouch for him. I actually talked to him after he got home from it, and he was okay. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, from um, uh, Brew Dog, which is a uh, Scottish craft beer company from the UK. Mm-hmm. Um, they make probably one of the best IPAs you get called Punk IPA, but what I've got here today is two of their Christmas beers. Um, and this actually makes a great gift if anybody wants to uh, give people beer for Christmas. Um, this is an IPA, Christmas beer. It's called um, Hoppy Christmas. So have yourself a happy if Christmas. If I'm on your Christmas list, I'll take that, Richard. <laughs> and it's, it's 7.2%, so it's fairly mm. awful. Uh huh. That's pretty, that's that's pretty strong. That's pretty strong. Yeah, definitely festive yeah. there, Marilyn. <laughs> and another, another also from Brew Dog, also a Christmas beer. This one is a uh, Scotch ale. Uh, this is called Santa Paws. I love the name. <laughs> yeah, Brew, Brew, Brew Dog has some of the best um, named beers out there, actually. And this, this one's four point five, so it's sort of as alcoholic as the other one. Okay, I guess I can take that because that that yeah. seven that seven will have me sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we, we've never seen you sleeping before, Larry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, George. Come go. on, George. I have Relaxed. slept. Relaxed. I have slept in more hangouts, and George knows this. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I think we several of us. <laughs> I have fallen asleep. I mean, and there are pictures to prove it that's floating around G plus somewhere. <laughs> That's all right. And once again, I want to apologize for falling asleep on that one hangout on air you did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. One time, George fell asleep on our HOA. <laughs> well, oh. a lot of a lot of breweries do Christmas beer, and they often add like Christmas ingredients. And uh, mm-hmm. I suppose for Americans, they probably do Thanksgiving beer as well. I'm pretty sure. That should be interesting. Or pumpkin yeah. beer. Yeah, pumpkin beer is very popular. Yeah, yeah, pumpkin, pumpkin yeah. beer. I've seen a lot yeah. of that. And that's a uh, great, that's a great segue. We're going right back into the pumpkin cakes, pancakes that Shady is making. Yeah. They're looking good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these are almost finished. So, uh, so I, it's hard to tell on the perspective of how, like how how big are those? They look like little tiny pan, uh, yeah, pancakes. Yeah, that's my choice though. I yeah. Really tiny pancakes. I mean, even when I make American pancakes, that's what I like to do. But you can make it yeah. as big. You can make it as big as you want or small sure. as you want. Huh? I just yeah. always have trouble flipping the big ones. Yeah, can be messy. Yeah. Just so just to be safe, mm-hmm. I do the the small pancakes. It started. That's also a part from back when I didn't know how to cook. Mm-hmm. Nice, nice. Be sure you make enough for all of us. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking uh, you, you you must be uh, uh, your invitations to uh, uh, stop by and have something to eat must be popular with your friends. <laughs> they will be now. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, let me see if you know. Even those folks are. Uh, let me see what's saying in the stream, in the event. Uh, JD, my, my, my dog's uh, favorite meal is pumpkin uh, uh, pancakes, so uh, it's, 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 it's like, she's like salivating. She's got her tongue sticking out and this all waiting for him. Yeah. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me get her in there. Yeah, there she is. That's is that, your dog's name. That, that's, that's Emily. Emily, the, the Shih Tzu, uh, that loves uh, pumpkin pancakes. <laughs> Emily and pumpkin pancakes. That would be awesome. Be honest, she loves all food. <laughs> oh. well, well, George, this is a good exercise for you now to make Emily some pumpkin pancakes. You have the big... I've got the pumpkin. I just have to figure out a way to cut it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea, though. I hate cutting pan- pumpkins. 
Like, <laughs> what, what's that comedian, the uh, Gallagher that takes the watermelon? And yeah, like, I, oh, oh, I, gotta, I gotta, I gotta do a Gallagher thing. <laughs> Oh, they're looking good there, Shady. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, is this the batch with the um, nutmeg? No, not yet. I'm gonna add the, add the nutmeg right now. Okay. Cause we gotta try that. And in honor of this, I'm gonna put on my pimpkin hat. <laughs> George is on a roll today. <laughs> mm. Okay. Uh, how much nutmeg are you adding? Not much, right? No, not much. Just a little bit to see okay. if it makes it better or worse. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, back back to your story. Back to your story. Um, when you made it for the 100 folks, did everybody, like, lick their fingers? And what was the feedback? What was the feedback? Well, it was like a event that we were having and mm -hmm. it was people from all the different countries made their food and okay. the pumpkin pancakes went by went really fast that they have to start limiting the amount of the amount they would give to the people <laughs> you know oh, right <laughs> hey, hey larry i think the lick your fingers was a different hangout if i'm not mistaken i think you're right <laughs> oh uh Malay Melanie McDonald, friend of mine, friend of ours, she says, um, and this, I think this is my directed, be directed to George. Oh, there's, two George there's two Georges. George, George with an axe. Should, should we be worried? Should we, should we be worried by guess who, who said with axes next to them? <laughs> Um, I, do live in, I do live in Texas, and the other day I was using a chainsaw, but no worries. <laughs> You're probably creeping people out. <laughs> yeah, in, in Texas, uh, you know, sometimes you have to, do, you know, like, you know, uh, check your firearms at the door. Yeah. <laughs> your weapons. What? You have a place for the weapons. <laughs> <laughs> while while um, Shady is getting that done, um, let me just talk briefly, and since I have my fellow Movember brothers in the Hangout, we could all talk about this. Um, as you see, my little peach fuzz that's growing on my upper lip is part of Movember, which is um, uh, a really good cause that uh, Martin Shervington has um, started, or oh, well, he's he head plus stachio. And he has uh, about 20 of us in the group. Uh, George Cohen is part of it. George Shepich and Richard uh, Wooding. We're all giving to this good cause. And on Thursday of this week, um, we will have a push here on Google Plus where folks can donate to the um, to the cause, which is gonna take care of men's health, whether it's physical or mental. Uh, George, you Georges want to say something on, on that? Yeah, well, it's, um, um, you know, typically men's health from um, um, testicular or prostate cancer um, and um, men, men's mental health, I guess, in dealing with uh, issues like that. And uh, so a lot of people are growing mustaches for November. And if you look at, on G+, a lot of uh, women even have put um, yeah. mustaches on their profiles. So, so it's, yeah. a, it's a worthy cause, and we're... Um, uh, you know, we're putting up with this uh, face fungus for a month to uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, sort of illustrate. Yeah, uh, and, and, and to, to, to just support what uh, um, um, George said, uh, we're, we're basically all going on nuts over uh, November. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, Richard so how's has that a... going for you guys? Is it getting annoying? I I'm used to having a moustache, so not really. Yeah. 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 Okay, we have a couple questions. Um, okay, Milani. <laughs> Milani you, has lots of questions today. <laughs> <laughs> what do you serve on them? Syrup or brown sugar? Um, you know, it has a, it has a sugar in it, brown sugar. Mm -hmm. That is, 
So basically, you don't need anything on it. Okay. It's uh, aside from that, it also has the raisins. That makes it even sweeter. Right. Right. Okay. Great. Uh, next question or oh, next statement, I should say. Uh, this is from Catherine Cato. She says, "I bake pumpkins for pies. I think it would retain more flavor. Just a thought. If you bake it as compared to boiling it." That that could be a possibility because mm -hmm. there's also the different types of pumpkins, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. Up here they call it the curacao pumpkin. That's very flavorful. And then we also get some out of the Dominican Republic that yeah. is more. The I mean you know you're eating pumpkin, but the taste is not very strong. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I I I have to agree with you on that, Shadia, because the pumpkin we get here in Trinidad, it's it's so sweet. You yeah. Know, whether, whether you boil it, bake it, grill it, it retains that sweetness. It's like it's like some of them is like sugar. It's sure. very very sweet, and it's it's a bright yellow. And like I said, we cook with pumpkin a lot here in the Caribbean. Um, I put pumpkin in all my dishes. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Very cool. I Try never even to. thought about y'all having different strains down there, but of course that makes perfect sense. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it does. And, you know, being in the Caribbean where it's, you know, the, you have two seasons, wet and dry, um, the pumpkins that, that grow here would tend to be much sweeter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very cool. Mm. That's a good point. That was thought why. I hey, Martin, Martin Sherminton chimed in. Hello, everyone. What are we cooking? <laughs> <laughs> what it, wait, do the do those pumpkins have a lot of seeds and stuff? And yeah. Uh, well, I, I can tell you exactly. I just cut the innards out of this one, and here here's the seeds on this one. So yeah, yeah. We, we got uh, lots I, of seeds. I, I can I, see. I usually. Oh, I'm sorry, Larry. Go. No, I can see just by George displaying that cut. Of pumpkin, our pumpkin here are much different than than the ones there because uh, we do have seeds, yes, but the the flesh where where he was showing it's sort of whitish, yellowish. Ours a yeah. uh, bright yellow. Wow, mm -hmm. that's so bright cool. yellow. Yeah, bright yellow. Uh, Sh Shade, do you have any pumpkin um, that's cut up? That, that no. You can show? Okay. No, I just boiled. I boiled all of it. Okay. Well, as as you can see, what what she showed there, it it was a, a bright yellow to begin with. Yeah. 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 By the way, the pumpkin seeds are great to roast. If put a little salt or seasoned salt on them, right? And roast them, they're great. Good. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was gonna say. I always roast those yeah. pumpkin seeds, and I use them. You know, I eat them or use mm. eat them straight or or use them on salads and stuff. They're they're like yummy. So to answer Martin's question, Martin, we are cooking pumpkin pancakes. Yeah. And I just finished all the batter. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. That's all I have already, and four more to go. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah. Nice, 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 wow. nice. Okay, well, it looks like uh, whoever is home there would be in for a good treat. Can we um, can, can we get Dimitri to try yeah. some? Yeah. Yeah. Before we sign off, add one. Hey! Mm. hey. <laughs> love, 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 love you in the Matrix. That's Stadia's, Stadia's uh, boyfriend, the Matrix. Uh, we Hi. call him we call him the, the Matrix before. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so now I'm gonna try the normal one, the other nutmeg. Okay, yeah. without 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 the nutmeg. Okay. No. Very good. Very good. Very sweet. What? What? Mm. Uh -huh. What are you tasting? What are you tasting? What? What uh, flavors are coming in into play? Pumpkin, obviously. Uh, <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. The raisins. And. Mm. You tasted vanilla in it? Yeah. Strong. Oh. Oh yeah. Put strong. a lot. Of, a bit, a lot of, yeah. Strong. I put flavor. a lot of vanilla because yeah. I love it. I love vanilla too. I, yeah, I as just you do. It's forty percent alcohol. <laughs> okay. There, there's a reason right there. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. That's a nutmeg. Nice. 
while while you're tasting it, before you taste it, I have a quick question from Gunter Vanner to you, Shadia. Is a green pumpkin and blending can put there? She, that's yeah, she's definitely from Asia. Um, in the beginning, did not see the same. Can I get the recipe? Yes, you can get the recipe. And as far as the green pumpkin, using green pumpkin, uh, Shady, you could probably address that. Um, I've never eaten green pumpkin, so yeah, I and I. Yeah, I personally haven't cooked green pumpkin either. I usually wait for it to get ripe. Um, so uh, green pumpkin might be a little off. I would I would say it wouldn't it wouldn't give you the sweetness. Or you would have to use more sugar or honey depending on on what you use for sweetening. Okay. And the I matrix. Have to say one more thing too. Uh, the pumpkin mm -hmm. pancakes it doesn't need to be you know like it needs to have a little bit of brown in it when you. Uh, fry it mm -hmm. like this one. I just for being faster. I did some that's like very uh, yellowish or orangish, but um, it needs to have some brown in there. Okay. Like this is a very good example. Yeah. Pretty much. Like okay. <laughs> so the matrix. Let's yeah. hear your verdict on the um, nutmeg one. Nutmeg. All right. I could definitely taste the nutmeg in there. Do you like it? Mm, personally, not that much. Oh, I uh, think. Not that much. <laughs> you, so, so, but, but, but this is interesting though. Um, yeah. it, do you normally eat or, or use nutmeg when you're um, cooking or if you mix in a cocktail? Because as you know, down here in the Caribbean, when we do a, a rum runner, for instance, um, we do a little nutmeg, grate a little nutmeg in the um, yeah. in the drink. So, do you normally normally put nutmeg? No. 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 Okay. So, nutmeg so you... is not that popular no. here. Okay. Uh, for those of you who probably don't know where nutmeg um, comes from, uh, we here in, in the Caribbean yeah. have, have been blessed to have Grenada as as a sister island, and a lot of the nutmeg that's, you know, delivered, I guess, worldwide and sometimes in the Caribbean, it comes from uh, Grenada, the Spice Island, it's called. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, but you wouldn't, you don't like the nutmeg. Um, no, personally no. no. Okay. All right. Shady, how about you? How, I, do you Not normally sure. try? It. I like nutmeg. Mm -hmm. Let me see. The one with nutmeg in it. And nutmeg is something you can't use too much of because it would overpower. Mm -hmm. That plate of that like pancake it. sure looks you like good. It? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. So so George, your experiment was um, it was a success, I would say. Oh, yeah, well, I, I guess I guess I guess it's I guess it's fifty fifty. It's fifty fifty. I'll take I'll take that. I'll take that. Yeah. It all depends whether you like nutmeg or not. Yes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's not right. taboo, but not it reminds me of this girl I dated named Meg that was a nut. No, that's a whole different story. <laughs> <laughs> all right. On that note, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh gosh, George, 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 George. Um, so. This is Larry Fenelia from Trinidad on behalf of George Cohen, George Sepich, Marilyn Ritter, Richard Wooding, uh, Shadia Janssen, and The Matrix himself. <laughs> Keep dodging those bullets, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Until, until the next time we're back with food stories. Oh, let me tell you who my guest would be on the next food stories. Which would be in a month's time. It would be Ermaine Nomer. She's from originally from Cameroon, and she will be doing an African dish uh, along with her mother and her daughter. So it's like a three-generation wow. type of uh, hangout. They all will be in the kitchen, and they'll be telling the story about the particular dish that they'll be preparing. So join us next month. I will be sending out the 
event, and you guys will know when, when it's going to be happening. So, anyway, life in the scene. Goodbye, everybody. So long. Bye. So long. Bye. Bye. Bye.